Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by again. It's Breadcrumbs Project and I've got to start picking up pieces of truth again and separating all the, uh, all the dirt and all the nonsense and start just picking up the crumbs of the truth and continue to, to hang on to that whole loaf of the real truth. And the real truth is, is that uh, Comet Atlas is not breaking apart. We have YouTubers, um, YouTuber uh, against the grain, excellent YouTuber. He's in. He is in Croatia. The 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 commentary that we've been having about if this is Nibiru, uh, he has a very strong um, telescope, and he has great technology there in his Croatian uh, mountaintop, and he has been following. Comet Atlas, and you can see that it is not falling apart. There's another excellent YouTuber as well, who's uh, named Mars Dust, and I'm going to link their channels below. Uh, uh, Mars Dust and Against the Grain, look them up, and they they have a, uh, at least a week, week and a half of videos tracking uh, Atlas. And you can see clearly that it is not falling apart. It is not giving any signs of falling apart. It is not giving any indications of falling apart. This nonsense of it uh, falling apart started uh, four days ago, five days ago. And today you can still look at it and it has a solid, bright, hard, blue core. Uh, and it's a bluish greenish tint. Um, so that is, that is not, not usual for a comet at all. Usually comets are white, yellowish um, in the history that we have. Um, this, comet, this comet is half the size of the sun. Nobody has said otherwise. All of the periodicals out there, the newspapers that have published the size of this comet atlas have said it's half the size of the sun. They have not retracted that. There are some uh, web pages that have said that the core might be uh, 10 kilometers across and it might be solid ice. But no, this is, this is not that at all. It's, it is very, very, very large. Very, very large. If it was even 10 kilometers across, it would be far closer to the Earth. It would be in full perihelion and we probably couldn't see it. So this is nonsensical. Um, it's moving three times the normal speed of a comet. A comet usually goes between 28 and 32,000 miles per hour. This is going 93,000 miles per hour, just like Borisov, and much faster was uh, Oumuamua, which took off at 125,000 miles per hour when it exited our solar system. So these three interstellar visitors are doing things that comets are not supposed to do, historically have not done. Um, so we know that, it's, that, that it has a full core, that it's going very fast. Please check out those two YouTubers. Um, here is what a, a, a comet that falls apart looks like. And you would have, we have billions upon billions of dollars of telescopes that can give us good images of, of Comet Atlas, but they're not doing it. They're not doing it on purpose. The governments are obviously um, trying to keep this quiet as long as they can. But this is this this is Comet Shoemaker Levy Nine, before it impacted um, before it impacted planet Jupiter, because as as the comet was coming in towards the sun on its on its I think it was a, it's a three or four hundred year journey. Um, and as, as it was approaching the inner solar system, Jupiter does what Jupiter does. Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, Jupiter, these are huge planets with huge gravitational pulls. And so they, they, they take in a lot of objects that are gonna come close to the inner solar system, to the Earth. Well, they just, like a big sponge, like a big magnet, they, they suck these things in. And we were able to image um, the, the disintegration, the proper disintegration of a comet back in 1994. And here is one set of images. Um, 
you know, of, of how the comet breaks apart. And it goes in a straight line because gravity is pulling it from its, this trajectorial journey that it was on. Here's another picture. And now, here, look, look. Yeah, okay, this picture's great. How far away was this comet? How small was this comet? And we got fantastic resolution pictures. This comet, Shoemaker Levy 9, was a tiny thing compared to Comet Atlas. And we got these great pictures because, and, and it was all the way out by Jupiter. And we got these great resolution pictures. And we have zero resolution pictures from NASA or the government of this grand event this grand comet, and if it was really falling apart, don't you think we'd have rooms full of scientists screaming and pointing at monitors and hugging each other or yelling and arguing? No, we don't have any of that. There is complete and utter silence, radio silence from the astronomical community. If there is any information coming out from the astronomical com out of the astronomical community, it is misinformation. Oh, well, this is just a regular event. You know, comets are notoriously unpredictable. What? What, 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 what? Comets are notoriously unpredictable. Comets are notoriously predictable. That's why they're comets. That's why we're able to, to say when they're coming back. That's why we, we have the dates of comets, of, uh, of, of the Hale Comet, of the uh, Comet Shoemaker-Levy uh, 9. Um, they're regular as clockwork. That's the history of them. To say they're irregular, for astronomers to say that, is nonsensical. To say that this is breaking up is nonsensical. That we don't have any amazing imaging Im imagery of this. National Geographic style imagery. Of that. Na National Geographic isn't even talking about this thing because it's being suppressed. That we're not having major press conferences discussing this is nonsensical as well. So the only reason I feel sure that we're not doing any of those things and all this misinformation is coming out is because the government is fully aware of what's happening, thank goodness. The FRBs are a great indication of that, the fast radio bursts that got stronger and stronger since 2012 when they were super faint like a cell phone uh, signal. And now they were really strong this past year that they were getting them. Uh, couldn't explain why, but yeah, they were getting stronger and stronger. Must be something of the millions of years journey that they were taking. No, it was far closer than that. Finally, the funniest thing that has come to light, because when they said it was falling apart, we only saw one event, and, and I have that documented in my first analysis of, of the uh, reports that uh, Comet, um, Comet Atlas was falling apart. My, my analysis of the data sets that came out was no. It launched one object. One object came out of it, and now that object has a name. It's PanSTARS C2017, PanSTARS. Supposedly, this thing's been out there for a while. The scientists have been knowing about it. It's 2017, it's been in a close orbit. I went to my database of comets, and there's no comet C 2017, PanSTARRS. There's a PanSTARRS comet, but there's no PanSTARRS 2017. Um, so, and this is an exact close orbit with, if you look at the imagery, there's gonna be one more link that I'm gonna to give to you, and that is uh, one astronomer who is trying to also misreport that um, that uh, that comet Atlas has fallen apart? He, he doesn't give a bit of fruit, uh, proof. He just says, "Well, the, the the image is a bit obscure and everything." No, it would be breaking apart in a straight line, and it would be very easy to see. Um, so uh, the other thing is is that you can see this new Pan Stars sudden arrival comet, which is on the same trajectory as Comet Atlas. And if you follow where the ejection happened um, five days ago, where they've said it's falling apart, well, it's following the path of, of this object, which is now PanSTARRS C2017. And I strongly feel like that is what is going, that what is coming towards our planet. Because of course, um, 
comet, uh, comet Atlas, which is, which is Nibiru, can't make it to our, our planet. So uh, God and the gods and, and everything that is going to come visit us has, come, has to come in, in some kind of vehicle, and that vehicle is Panstar C 2017. And, um, and there's another object out there, which is the Red Star. Uh, this, this video has gone far too long. I'll talk about the, uh, the Red Kashina tomorrow, the Red Star tomorrow, uh, the Blue Kashina, which is Nibiru, which is uh, in its trajectory to be our Bethlehem Star, December 25th. Uh, of this Christmas, which is going to be a time to rejoice because everything's going to be settled. But please note that uh, when God makes His presence known on the planet, I think it's going to be late May sometime, uh, is, my, is my guesstimate, things are going to get really crazy. And then He is going to, to make the changes that He has promised and that He has prophesied through many, many worldly religions, ancient religions is that there's going to be some tough times when, when the end times come, but they, they are survivable. And it's obvious by my reading of the prophecies is that um, the Creator is going to send a big old EMP, an electromagnetic pulse, around the planet that's going to disable all of our electronics. So in a moment, we're going to go basically back to the Stone Age. Well, Iron Age. Uh, because we will have tools, but we're going to be in the Iron Age. Um, we're not going to have the benefit of all of our devices. If you are smart, technically proficient, and very creative, and you want to preserve your devices, um, because there is going to be a rebuild. But if you want, if you know, if you want to watch movies, if you want to watch movies on your iPad, iPhone, uh, build a Faraday cage for your device. And I'm going to do a. a uh, a video on that in the next couple of days, how to build a Faraday cage or what is considered a Faraday cage that can keep your devices uh, safe for the event so that you can use them for some entertainment uh, after the event. Also, I would get a, um, get a, uh, a generator. This is a great time to get a generator, also protect its electrical components in a Faraday type, Faraday type cage. And, um, and have two to four months worth of food and drink, food and water supplies for two to four months while it's unstable. If you're in a city, I would consider getting out as soon as possible because when an EMP hits a, a large city like New York, Philadelphia, uh, Miami, everything stops, man. Everything stops. So if you're in a high rise, your elevator stops. That's gonna be stair city. And then there's going to be a limited amount of food, a limited amount of supplies, a limited amount of water. So just be wise and prepare. If I am wrong, all you're going to do is have a nice vacation outside of the city, and you won't have to do as much grocery shopping for two to four months. That is the worst that will happen from my advice. Um, but just stay safe, get ready, pay attention, find the YouTubers that are bearing good fruit, and, uh, and just cast aside those that are just misleading you. If, if, they're, if what they're saying is not bearing out and, and being right, then they're just giving you misinformation. If you consistently get good information from other YouTubers, even if some of us are considered fringe scientists, you're still getting good information and you're gonna be okay. Stay close to your religion, pray, build your faith, study your end times prophecies, and, uh, and understand that the Creator's coming back and it's been prophesized for thousands upon thousands of years. Uh, the Hopi said it was gonna be right now and the Maya said it was very close. And these are two ancient traditions that have gotten many, many, many of their prophecies spot on and right on the tail and very much correct. All right, guys, um, again, Comet Atlas is not falling apart. It's half the size of Venus, if not bigger. There is an object it ejected four or five days ago, and now it is uh, becoming bright like a comet itself because it's gaining speed, and it is in the cosmic rays of the, uh, of the sun, and so it's going to be giving off its tail, and that is pan stars. And, um, and so that is, that is incredibly interesting 
times and very, very incredible times that are, that are uh, happening upon us. All right, that's a long video. If you have any questions, uh, leave them below. Uh, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any negative comments, give us some information. Don't just come in here and say, oh, you're a freak, you're, you're a pseudoscientist. Blowing out my candle doesn't make your candle any brighter. If you think I'm wrong, tell me why, bring facts, bring proof, and maintain a consistent argument. Let's, this is not going to be resolved in a 30-minute uh, spat. This has been going on for quite a while. My channel is quite old, and I've been, been following this a good bit. So um, my advice and, and, and what I've seen and what I've been tracking has been bearing good fruit, and I'm pretty proud of that. All right. Peace.